When sporting teams and work teams have plans to improve themselves or simply have a vacancy, the coach or manager usually calls in a specialist to find new talent. In companies, that specialist is the HR or Human Resources Manager. HR staff kick into action and start the search for interested recruits. Recruiting is a huge part of making great teams. From the group of wannabes, HR staff use their knowledge and experience to find the best person for the job. HR managers are a vital link in the company's overall structure, making sure that the people match the company's purpose. But human resources staff do much more than find stars for the team. They provide expert advice to managers about how they can improve their team's performance and suggest training options to optimise staff potential. HR staff also monitor well-being, look after safety needs and sometimes act as intermediaries. Both sides need HR when differences arise. And importantly, they make sure people get paid fairly. They then follow up to ensure when jobs change, so does the pay. Keeping capable staff saves time and money in the long run, so HR managers play a big part in staff retention. In a big company, helping people along a successful career path is part of this responsibility. HR managers can make a big difference when they connect the right people. They help shape the business by facilitating change. Then everyone benefits. HR experts are employed all over the world, which allows for great overseas employment opportunities. So in summing up, human resources recruit team members, advise on team performance, oversee staff training options, monitor well-being, facilitate change, organise salary payments and resolve grievances.
first phase in a strong project management process is to scope your project. The initial step within this phase begins with a quiet reflective session either with your project team or with yourself as the project manager. In this quiet session prior to any planning, you give yourself the power to mitigate and avoid misfires and oversights during the project execution. How you do this is to outline all of the potential individuals and groups that are influenced by the project itself. You take time to brainstorm everyone you can think of that will be influenced by the project, and in true stellar brainstorming fashion, you refrain from judging or editing your list at this point. You do a complete brain dump. Once you have determined that you've exhausted your entire mind of all the relevant individuals and groups, then you take a deep breath and switch from the right side of your brain, where your brainstorm occurred, to the left side of your brain. This is where you ask yourself and or your team to be very distinct. Ask yourselves, of all these individuals and groups, who in the end will truly determine if your project succeeds or fails? You see, this is that time when you begin to mitigate and avoid misfires and oversights by knowing who will be the person who determines your success. Typically, you don't want more than three key stakeholders. It's easier if you have one or two. And to be honest, a project success can be compromised if there are too many chefs in the kitchen. Once you've determined who your key stakeholders are, make sure that they agree that they are the only key stakeholders. Your planning work, your project work can then begin. Because now you know who directs the vision of the things you are about to take on. In our next step, we'll show you how to begin creating a successful project plan. You'll want to have the names of your key stakeholders in mind as you watch the next presentation titled, The Pictures Inside Their Heads. Hello, Mr. Carl. How may I help you? Well, I am here today to discuss about new project for you. We have started a new business and we need information system for managing inventory. Well, you are at the right place. For sure we can help you streamline your business by creating an efficient information system. Sounds good. We want to automate our business for delivering the products to auto retailers. We have a warehouse and based on phone orders received we distribute parts to the retailers. I will email you the business process detail document. Sure. Please email the document so that we can define a proper scope of the project in our next meeting. Okay let's meet next week. Hi Bill. I am here to sign off the requirements. Sounds good. We have gone through your document. Let's discuss each requirement and then you can see enough and this will be our scope of the project. Thank you for coming. We will be implementing the system in two months from now. Okay bye. Hello team. I want to discuss the requirements of the new project. The project is about developing an inventory system for an auto parts wholesale distributor. We have to develop this project in two months. We have signed off requirements, which would be soon on your way. Okay. Hello Carl. Well we have decided to add some more features to the project. We need procurement module along with a web interface for everything. Inventory should be automatically managed based on transactions from procurement and web sales. Thoughts fine we can include those functionalities with some additional cost. Yes extra cost is not a problem but project should be finished on time. We have high expectations on the outcome of this project. No problem. Okay bye. Hello Luke and Susan. What's the progress on the project? It is going well and hopefully will be completed couple of days ahead of deadline. Wonderful. I wanted to discuss few more requirements with you guys. Our client wants some additional functionalities in the project that I will email to you. 
Deadline is critical for our client. We will try our best to complete the project on time. Hi Carl, how are you doing today? Well I need some more features in the project. I need to connect the web interface with social media integrated. I also need few additional reports in our system. Well time is very short but I will make sure that these features are added to the project. Thank you Bill, I really appreciate it. Okay bye. Hello guys, clients have asked for few additional features. It should be integrated to the social media and few additional reports are required but they need all this on promised time. Bill, I don't think this is possible to do on time. We are already struggling with the previous requirements additions. Why don't you add more resources? We are already overburdened. New resources needs training and it is not possible in this short time frame. Well, I have already promised the client. Let me think about it. What's up Bill? How's everything going? We are really excited about the project next week. Well Carl, we have an issue. Project cannot be completed on time. No way Bill. I already mentioned you many times that the D-Lane is very critical for us. It is really difficult for us to meet the deadline. Please understand the situation. I don't care. We wasted our time and money with you. Deliver whatever you have done by next week. What has gone wrong in this project? Hello Carl, how can I help you? Well we have decided to add some more features to the project. We need to have procurement module with a web interface for everything. Inventory should be automatically managed based on transactions from procurement and web sales. Carl it seems difficult at this time but let me discuss with my team about these features. I will get back to you by tomorrow. Okay let's meet tomorrow. Hi Carl. We cannot accept these requirements as they are out of scope which means we are deviating from MOV. Deviating from the MOV results in scope creeping. If you really need them, we would have to redefine the scope and MOV of the project which could result in change of deadline and need extra budget. I hope you understand and want us to move forward. I really appreciate your thoughtful concerns. I think we will stick with the same scope and MOV of the project as discussed at the beginning. Thank you.